This week on the Happy Monster Cast, the heroes of SET Alpha 1 2 encounter a strange tower in the magic zone and make a new friend. Hi, my name is Ron. I'll be playing Philip Marlowe, the robot pilot ace. My name is Brendan. I will be playing Leviticus Overton, a quick flex glitter boy. Hi, my name is Frankie. I'm playing Kuva, a Simvin Burster. Hi, my name is Jiang Su, and I will be playing a an elf cyber knight named Mingbi. Hi, my name is Frank, and I'm playing Click, a Trimador techno wizard. Hi, everyone. I'm Bob, and I'm playing Quinlan, who's an elven leyline walker. Previously on the Happy Monster Cast. And you approach the area where you believe that the Southeast Fortress will is supposed to be. The base appears to be predominantly underground. Mm. What is this, the Pentagon? Actually, uh, to use a an analogy that you'll all be familiar with, picture the back door of the Imperial base on Endor in Return of the Jedi. Uh-huh. With your superior vision, thanks to your goggles, you oh. spot what looks like a small concealed entrance a little bit past the, that column thing on the hill on one side. Ooh. And without needing any special knowledge, you guys also see the front door open. <laughs> Okay. And uh, out of the front door marches a troop of what look kind of, but not exactly, like goblins. What's our goal again? No, no, I'm curious here. Is the goal to take the, the, the fortress, or is the goal to find something in the fortress? Those are two different strategies. It's true. Sure. But we can't find it unless we get inside. Yes, but we don't have to take the fortress to get if inside. If we're taking the fortress, we don't need to put ta- get our tanks into this the fortress. Not tanks are a good idea. Tanks are a great idea. Tanks should be really loud outside the fortress this is so that things drill. come out of the fortress and, 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 and look at the tanks and say, ooh, scary tanks, we should do something while other people sneak around to the fortress and get what they need. Well, so here's an idea. How about if the heavy armor guys blast the small door, lure the emulator demons outside, and then while we are fighting the emulator demons outside, the smaller, you know, Force 10 from Navarone sneaks inside and picks up the seal assault. He lets off a full burst from those guys. And that's going to hit very easily. And that is definitely going to be enough. So the rail guns fire off down range and he just blasts this door out of sight. So the first round of the battle, this is a mass battle for the folks outside the fortification. Meanwhile, at the back door, Quinlan, Click, Lady Mimby, and Kuba sneak into the fortification. So for this dramatic task, you have a certain amount of time, a certain amount of rounds, if you will, before you will be discovered as you're sneaking through, or alternatively, you might really screw up. You just came back roaring from this. So Zargas thought he had you guys on the run. He did, he chewed up your guys last time, but you took, you went into cover and you're using the cover very effectively. And you just go to town between the boom gun and the rail guns and the, the gun wolf howl. You are doing some serious damage here. So you really shoot those guys up. Okay, this may or may not be good news, but they are retreating back into the fortress. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> That's not to we did too well. You have triggered a trap. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry guys. And you're not 100% sure, but you think that in about 10 seconds, the entire treasure chamber here is going to be filled with flames. Oh boy, sorry, oh, sorry oh guys. I got this, and I grab it. I didn't go. Okay, now the now the pillar is course getting multiple colors because you've set off all the traps. And we're running, and we're running. And the seal becomes white hot. All of this chaos stops at the door, and you turn back to look in. Uh-oh. And through the chaos, you can see the glowing seal. It shoots up into the air, maybe a hundred feet, and then it this goes zooming off to the northwest. 
uh, you need to decide where you're going to go. So you could head back to Castle Refuge. You could also stop at Murktown on the way back and get some repairs done on the Gunwolf and some resupply. Or you could head directly for Chai Town and try to figure out what the heck just happened. I think we should go to Murktown and get repaired and then go to Chai Town. Sounds good to me. So yeah. you, you were sent on two missions from Castle Refuge. One was to locate the Seal of Solomon, which you found and then lost. And the other was to investigate these strange appearances like Hamilton the Toaster Bot. And this ship that you found clearly falls into that second category. So you're now in Murktown on the border of the Federation of Magic and the Magic Zone on the east side of the Mississippi River. And you know that the Seal of Solomon headed off from the Southeast Fortress towards Chai Town, but you don't know if that's where it actually ended up or not. So your options are first to re- return to Castle Refuge, second to retrace the, the seal, or third to go somewhere else entirely. What would you like to do? Um. To inform your decision a little bit, if you head towards the uh, the seal, you will be heading into coalition territory. The coalition is less than thrilled about DBs, which is most of you. Be all right. You're hanging out with me. They also really are not too fond of bursters or ley line walkers and are dubious about techno wizards. I feel about clear. I really don't care for uh, the coalition, <laughs> but that's just my uh, own personal feeling. I think we'll be fine. I'm the first of the leader, Captain, it's your choice. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain. You say Captain. <laughs> I like options one and two. The third seems the least practical. Yes, I'm curious about the Seal of Solomon. Does anybody have a strong preference? Uh, Or, you know, of course, there's the ship to investigate, right? I don't really care what we do, but uh, I can tell you, I really didn't want to go into coalition territory. I really, really don't care for those people. Good point. Yeah. Where is the ship? Is the ship, the ship is reasonably close, is it not? A couple days, maybe? Uh, the ship's about a day and a half journey back into the Federation of Magic. Okay. I think if we were to go, if we were to go there, but that wouldn't cost us a lot of time. How about if we do that? Fine, we could do that, and then we could we would have something to report back, and then we can kind of, I guess, we could also look for more information about the Seal of Solomon and why we were okay looking for it. Kind of curious. It would also be easier to trace the path of the Seal of Solomon if you were a little closer to the Southeast Fortress. So this could be a win-win. And also, this ship is one of the kind of summoned objects types things like Hamilton, right? You believe so. Click picked up the same kind of resonances from the ship that he picked up from Hamilton. So maybe while we're at the ship, because it's so much larger and there's like other examples of it, we could try to get more information about where Hamilton came from and the mystery of these persistent magical, uh, magic summoned objects. We think there's anybody inside the ship. Yeah, I would imagine not, but you're pretty sure you cleared it out, but oh, it's possible. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, but there might it be looked- like a mummy sarcophagus in the hold carrying ancient <laughs> curses and treasures. <laughs> Which is really all we're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, okay. you know, treasure and adventure, if really. That's why we're here. Okay, you also had a question about pay. Yeah, I'd like to bring up that you guys haven't paid me yet. And, uh, <laughs> you know, these repairs, they, they do cost money. Well, the repairs were picked up by the Tomorrow Legion. They have a contact in Merc Town. While you guys are talking, I start a fire and start uh, <laughs> burning things. <laughs> burning some of the refuse. Making- Let's get a move <laughs> on. Right, All right, yeah, let's you go. guys head back into the Federation of Magic towards the ship. You're about a day into the travel. You're getting ready to set up camp for the night. And as you're moving along, you believe pretty much in the same path that you were headed before. And knowing the ship's really big, it's not going to be that hard to spot. You yes. see a tower just to the right of your path. Tower. Yes. What sort of a tower? Uh, I don't remember there being a tower here. It kind of looks like a cybernetic update of a traditional castle watchtower. Are we kind of retracing our steps and all of a sudden there's a new tower? More or less, yes. I mean, you might be a little bit off your previous path, but you're... It you, would have th- been sufficiently large. We might have noticed such a thing before. I mean, it's not enormous. So, it's only about th- about 40 uh, feet tall. Okay, so, so it's possible we missed it, but okay. I offered a scout ahead. I start listening on 
And it yeah. looks vaguely the same time period as the ship? No, it's completely different looking than the ship. This looks much more like something that fits into Rift's Earth a little bit better. I mean, the technology looks oh, okay. reasonably familiar. It kind of looks like something more like something you might expect to see in Chai Town or Northern Gun or one of the other more technologically focused human areas. So I started listening with on radio, radar, microwave, you know, any you know, maser burst, anything else. What's uh, what are they doing? What's the tower doing? Are they transmitting or just listening or what? Tower is a huge radar return, but it appears to be inert in terms of communications. I'll for to scout ahead. Pizza miniatures. Mm-hmm. Somebody want to go scout it? Captain, you want me to scout ahead? Yeah, let's see what's there. Sure. Go check it out. I'd like to okay. notice rolls from Kuva. Gotcha. Uh, Benny is a spell. Okay, so you're ninjaing your way through the forest here. <laughs> and as you close in, you very faintly hear something that sounds like singing. How strange someone is singing. Yeah. We communicate with him as, like, do we have radio communications? Well, you have radio communications. It's up to Kuva whether he wants to use them, since, of course, those could be detected. Sure. If I knew that that was a possibility, I wouldn't. Um, I would listen yeah. more to see if I hear anything else or see anything else. Is that all I notice is the whispering? Uh, all you hear is the singing. faint singing from the tower. Oh, the singing, yeah. And then after a while, it stops. Yeah. Like a Rapunzel thing? Yeah. Are any of the rest of us close enough to hear that? No, you're not. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and communicate it uh, along, the, along the radio that I hear uh, singing. Did you tell what language it was in? No, but it sounded like a human female. Oh, boy. I'll communicate that as well. Rapunzel. <laughs> after I communicate um, that, is there anything else that I notice? Not at this point. Okay. All right. Then I'll make my way back to the group. All right. Close did you get to it? Yeah. There's a cleared area about... About 20 meters in diameter around the tower. So Kubo was able to make his way qu- right up to that cleared area, and that's where he heard the singing. You didn't see anything, just an audio. He also saw that the tower has no entrances below the 25 foot level. So it is Rapunzel. <laughs> Checking. I'll offer to, uh, to scout, I'll offer to scout uh, within the air with. Uh, with my with Griff, if they want me to try that, you could certainly approach. Griff can't hover, but he could. You he could get you close enough to jump through the window if you uh, so um, if you so chose. Uh, I'm not is that really something the, you want to do? But I'll offer. I'll offer to get a look, <laughs> at least to scout closer with Griff in the air. Not necessarily uh, enter. Can, can any of the uh, techno people get close enough to, for um, you know binoculars or telescopic vision or, or better look see from that type approach? Can I put on my goggles of farsight? Yeah, of course we can. can. Take you into the air uh, at a distance, and you can see through where we're. I think the entrance is over the circle around the tower in a perimeter. That's certainly a possibility. We're gonna try that, Scott. I'm gonna take whoever's got the goggles on Griff into the air. Okay. So uh, as Philip cracks a beer from his mini fridge, the two of you take <laughs> off into the air. <laughs> Who's and drinking? I earned that money. <laughs> Disapprove. You don't see anything. You see through the window what appears to be a a chamber of some kind. There's some furniture in there, but you don't see any people. Oh. I think we should storm the castle. No. Okay. Wow. <laughs> One person at a time. We're gonna like Okay, boss. No, I if we go roll if we go rolling up there, the the Top, top door window is 25 feet up, right? So our techno wolf can basically just reach up there. Anybody else can scramble up the side of him and go jumping in the window. Yeah, the gun wolf, if the gun wolf walks up, you could basically climb from the gun wolf's arms right in the window. Yeah. Remind me of why we want to do so, this. So, I mean, all the little people can easily walk around. Why do we want to storm? Well, because there's obviously somebody in there who needs help. So as you're flying around quick, I would like Missing you to make logic an occult check. There's obviously a Disney princess in there that needs our help. Or it's a trap. Okay. As you're observing this thing through your goggles, which also do detect arcana, you note an arcane signature coming from inside the tower. Oh, God. You also note that the tower seems to be resonating in a similar way to Hamilton and the ship. That's Edelson. We have to storm the castle. You guys, I got some magic here. 
This tower is officially more interesting than we even believe. Actually, I asked Hamilton, do you know anything about this place? Well, Hamilton isn't with you. He's back at Castle Refuge. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's right. right. Yes. It, does it look like some kind of home appliance that's gigantic? It does not look like a home appliance that's gigantic. It looks like a tower. It's singing, but Hamilton yep, could, could speak also. Could have been the tower, could be something else, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think there's somebody that's there, there's somebody that's in the tower, and if, if she, you know, presumably it's a she, appeared in the same way that Hamilton did, then she might be able to provide more information um, about where she came from and, and how she came to be here in the Rift land. That is possible. I would like uh, everyone to make a notice check. Yep. <laughs> I see nothing. <laughs> this pathetic. Well, on the wild die. <laughs> uh, most of you hear the faint sounds of heavy metal music coming from inside the gun wall. <laughs> uh, all of you hear the faint sound of heavy metal music coming from inside the gun wall. Good tunes, mm. mate. Hey, boss, I think one of us is bored. The only a couple of us should go in. If any of us go in, so we don't. So we don't all get killed by whatever nature was. I, I have a thought. Okay, let's it hear it. Parts. It does what? not involve firing me at a tower. <laughs> You have a bunch of junk in the in the uh, big boss. I'm wondering if I could whip up a drone. Uh, interesting, interesting idea. I would probably fo- call that what under the wing? the wings. You can definitely do. Let me check on the power set for a techno wizard to see if summon ally is in that power set. Because if it is, I would definitely allow you to build a drone. Okay. If if not, would I be able to be wing fluffy? Absolutely, you would be able to be be wing fluffy. He's been kind of bored in the big boss lately. I've noticed some scratch marks. Okay. Okay, so you do not have summon ally as an option, but you absolutely could throw wings on Fluffy. Let's put some wings on Fluffy and see if he can, it's and we so can, we weird. can fly him up and into the window. I like this idea. And, and why would we want to fly Fluffy into the tower? Because then it's somebody inside the room that's not us. <laughs> I love Fluffy. Fluffy is my best friend, which is why I haven't backed up on this disc. If the fireballs oh. go off and Fluffy gets blown up, I make a new fluffy. Okay. Okay. And if this is similar to Hamilton and his buddies, then there are two things that are possible. One is that it will also be friendly, but confused, right? And the second thing is there might be something chasing it. Not that a tower is something you're going to storm unless you're, what, bad guys? What are we doing here? Yes, but if I attach the remote video, we can actually see through Fluffy's eyes. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. There we go. That's uh, creepy. You know what's in the room. Right. All right. Well, if, if you, I, I'm thinking that creepy. if you were able to make this as a reconnaissance drone, that would be cool. But if not, then I think that we should go up and maybe not storm the castle, but knock on the door and say, hey, is everything all right? Well, there isn't let's, really a door. Let's do that. Room <laughs> service. Yeah, land shark. All right, this is fun, so I'm going to allow it. You MacGyver a camera onto uh, Fluffy, and I would like a weird science roll to get the wings going. Big money, no whammies. Good enough. You now have a flying, a flying robot cat with a camera attached with a GoPro. <laughs> that was purring. Yeah. Not perfect. Perfect. What the hell is that thing? Uh, I, okay, now. so Fluffy flies up and into the window. I would like a notice roll from Fluffy, Pete, please. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Fluffy flies in the window. This appears to be it's kind of a living room with a door leading somewhere else. And as Fluffy alights on the floor and looks around, oh. there is a flash of gold. Oh. And then Fluffy keels over on her side or its side. Not sure, but I'm not sure how to gender Fluffy. Can you clue me in on that? There. There. Okay. <laughs> Stay down. Check. Stay down. Uh, <laughs> Fluffy uh, keels over on their side uh, and the camera kind of rattles and then you just see it's aimed at the at the bottom of a sofa and that's really all you can see. Do we hear anything? I assume we've lost our way in now. No, because if we go in and it shoots us, that's bad. What you heard was kind of a zap. Zap, right. Yes. If we go in and we get zapped, that's bad. We don't go in. We shoot our way in. <laughs> we have big what guns. What I you? <laughs> I your cat was Well. Don't you want revenge for something? We could okay. just knock on the door. As you're sitting near the tower, you then hear from, from the tower, All right, Gozel. Nice trick with the cat. Gozel. Oh. 
Okay. Now you're going to let me out of here or what? I'm assuming this is a not similar to the singing voice we heard earlier. It is a human female voice, so it might be. Kuva, you think it might? It, it's probably the same voice. Okay. I'll, I'll clue that in on the party. I'm going to hop on Griff and look. Why yeah, so look. this definitely sounds like a request for help. I think right? that's wishful sure. thinking because you want to storm the, this tower. <laughs> just a guess. Well, I mean, she just said, are you going to let me out now? Are you going to let me um, out now? And something got zapped, and yeah. it was not this woman who got zapped, correct? Well, that's true. So what are we talking about here? We're going to go in and get zapped. I you, think I can take it. Do you have speakers on the gunwolf? You do I, have I speakers on the gunwolf, and it can make a ferocious gunwolf howl if you really want it to. Well, I'm just wondering if the gun wolf could yell back, what's a gozel? Okay, let's ask, what's a gozel? Okay, so you fire up the amp, and I assume uh, that Philip's on board with this plan. What? I can't hear you on the music. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn this down. <laughs> All right, uh, what do you want me to do? He turns down music. need to use the speaker. Please, you don't have to yell. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? What do you want? I know this great guitar solo, guys. Oh, no stairway to heaven. Now I want to build a two-story guitar for the gun wolf. But it's <laughs> Taurus by Spirit. Oh, my God. <laughs> so uh, what do you want? You want me to, like, blow a hole in the, the side of the wall or something? Or what? No, no. Just ask about the gozel. the hell's a gozel? Just That's ask what? who gozel is. Uh, just Come ask on. who gozel is. Focus. Attention tower! <laughs> Do you hear me? What is a gozel? There's a there's a long pause. Wait, what? And you as you look up at this window, a laser rifle pokes out just a little bit a short distance. I arm my weapons and point it exactly at the window. And you, have you approached close enough that it's obvious that you're there? Are you yelling? Are you yelling from some distance away? I'm, I'm probably yelling from some distance away. I haven't moved. Really? We wanted to storm the tower. I, I imagine we're close enough that we can storm a tower well, or make most that of you determination. Are, but the gun wolf and the big boss are further back. Uh, yeah. And I'm assuming the glitter boy as well, so they're not visible. Yeah, you did, you were you guys are sneaking up, right? I and mean, we're like just beyond the edge. Okay, of the then the laser rifle pulls back, and you see a faint a faint flash of light from inside. Hey, Gozel, okay. where'd you get the gun wall? Uh, I do not know who this Gozel is, but I am not. That person. Gozel. <laughs> this is a Gozel free zone. <laughs> well, if you're not Gozel, I want to see somebody outside of a massive power mech unarmed in the clearing. Hey, uh, any of you guys want to go up there. up there and uh, say hello? Because <laughs> uh, I'm not getting out of this thing. I'll go say hello. Yeah. We got okay. you covered. So who are you? Wait, you're a cyber knight. That's correct. You a cyber knight? And who are you? My name's Zell. Now, who's speaking? Is it the laser gun? Uh, no. Uh, as you come into the clearing and reveal yourself as a cyber knight, a teenage girl's head pokes out. And I guess that Zell is your last name. What? And your first name is No, Ron. Zell's my name. I haven't got a last Do I look like the kind of person who has a last <laughs> oh. name? Ah, but just carry on. Never mind. Somebody else. Right. Sorry, we're all thinking the same thing. You're not with Gozel's gang, then. That's correct. Who's Gozel and what are you doing up there? <sighs> Well, that's a bit of a story. Uh, could you maybe get me out of here? I mean, if you bring the gun wolf over, I can climb right out, but I can't come down the side of the tower. Well, we're going to need you to bring the, the winged cat, and we need you to promise to not shoot us. Oh, that's yours too? Right. Yeah, no problem. Right. I can uh, I can bring the winged cat. Like I said, though, I can't go down the side of the tower, and you shouldn't touch the tower either. It's Happens running. If we touch, oh. do, you, do you like extreme high voltage? Because that's what you're going to be eating. All right. Gun Wolf, get ah. over here. We need a little help. What? Sorry, hold on. Let me, let me turn this music deck down. Hold on. <laughs> what, what was that? Sorry. Over here, we need your help, and don't touch the tower. Yep. No problem. I go ahead over there, and uh, I uh, put up the arm. So they okay, climb so very cautiously, this teenage girl in Huntsman battle armor, uh, who is clearly cybernetically augmented, you can you can see some of the cybernetics on her face, comes crawling out onto the arm with the cat, and she has a laser pistol trained on Lady Mimby. Uh, says, "You pull any shenanigans, Gunwolf boy, and I'm taking out your your uh, cyber knight there." So 
She crawls out on the thing, says, yeah, okay, you want to set me down now? Yeah, I go ahead and I do that. After you put your gun away, or we can dump you back in the tower. Fine. Jeez, mom. Such a teenager. (laughs) She uh, she holsters the the pistol. You know, she's also packing a laser rifle. She's got a vibro sword slung across her back. And she's got what appear to be techno wizard van braces on. So uh, lower they lower her down like, okay, look, here's the deal. Is this all of you? Because I don't want to tell the story twice. Uh, so far as you know. Fair enough. So listen, I grew up in Dwemer. You ever heard of it? You, you have heard of Dwemer. It's a city in the magic zone. Okay, yes, we've heard of it. Yeah, so... I don't know who my my real parents were, but this dude Gozel pretty much adopted me from the time I was a little kid, and you know took care of me. I he had a gang. I ran with the gang, did some things, and uh, she wasn't really happy with me falling for one of the gang members. That he was kind of not thrilled about that. So long story short, Gozel kills my boyfriend. Doesn't want to kill me. Guess some affection there. I don't know. Throws me in this tower. How long ago was this? I think I've been up there for about a week, maybe, near as I can remember. And do you did you remember anything strange happening in between then and now? Like, for instance, until you guys team. came along. Who are you guys anyway? Well, is this where your tower used to be? Because it seems like your tower, from our perspective, just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I've been here all along. You guys must not have been paying attention. Where is here for you? Here, uh, the magic zone. You oh. know, Earth. What? And, well, and, her story <laughs> checks out, so uh, I guess we can just move along now, right? Because uh, you know, time's ticking, and uh, you know, I still haven't gotten paid. There's a ship to find. How many people are in Gozel's gang? Uh, it's probably 20, 30 city rats like me. What are you going to do now? While we're talking, I scan her just to see if she's got any of that residue on her. She does. Interesting. Well, I don't know. Who are you guys? Because I got nowhere better, nowhere better to be. If you got somewhere to go that's not here, I might be in. I got a few skills might be handy. Why don't you tag along as we go to the ship and we can keep talking? It's so annoying, though. Uh, yeah. Did you say that out loud? I'm going to whisper. Wait, what's that? What are you saying? Why are you whispering? You have nowhere to go and nothing to do? Well, I mean, I guess I can find my way somewhere else. I don't really know how to get anywhere else. I don't actually even know how to get back to Dwemer, but... Oh, come on. You can come with us. Come on, boss. I got a couple weeks of food. Uh, if you guys aren't interested, then screw you. I'll figure things out myself. Oh, no, no, no. She's just being twitchy. Come on, you can come with us. <laughs> did you say that out loud? You just told me I, I was I, I twitchy? Did. I did. Come on, boss. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Here? Yeah, I like that guy. I mean, <laughs> you know. She draw, you're drawing on me? Really? Okay. I backhand you. <laughs> <laughs> you backhand yeah. the gooder boy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you take roll your strength for damage. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's not enough to damage you. It absolutely does absolutely nothing to the glitter boy. I was it's like the point wow, was not kind of to damage. <laughs> <laughs> the point was not to damage. The point was to to show my my displeasure. Guys, <laughs> mom and dad are fighting. You guys are fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd love to hang with you guys, especially if there's any loot to be had. I start burning down one of the have trees. have no need for Fearless. loot. We fight for honor. <laughs> so, uh, are you yeah, guys no, again? I, I'm looking for loot because uh, I still haven't gotten paid over here. Are loot you going to identify yourselves as Tomorrow Legion? Yeah, sure. No, we're, we're a truthful bunch. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, except for... Except for me, I'm I'm so just a are. freelance mercenary. Uh, I oh. mean, today I'm with them, but uh, hey, I like the cut of your jib. Then cool. That's well, the yeah. But, uh, I mean, is this? Do I need to interview here? Because I can walk you through what I can do. Uh, is Gozel? Does Gozel have magic? Magical powers at all? Yeah, he's a thief mage. Hey, what does that mean to me? Uh, you know, invisibility, intangibility. I think he might have some puppet powers. Not really sure. I think the sooner we get away from this tower and break ties yeah. and or connections to uh, Gozel, the better. So how about if we all head towards the ship? I agree with that statement. All we right. should probably all get right. Well, um, I'm I'm happy to come along. Let's let's do this thing. Fine. You may join us. You have acquired Sal as a new party member. Throw her out here. All right. So you proceed onto the ship. So it was getting towards the close of night. We're getting ready to set up camp when we first spotted her tower. Hey. How far yeah. 
are we going to go? Are we just going to keep going during the night to put some distance between us and the tower? That's up to you. You certainly can. And if you keep going during, during the night, you will probably reach the ship sometime during the night. I think that unless we need to sleep, we probably should. We should probably keep going. I mean, you're, you'll potentially have some issues if you have to do anything serious the next day if you don't sleep, but you could keep going. I would like to sleep. What, why don't we just put a little distance bet- between ourselves and the tower and set up camp and we'll just keep watch, right. take turns keeping watch. So that's what you do. You set up so camp. So what's Gozel going to do when he finds out you're gone? Well, you know, I don't really know, but uh, I don't really care. I don't know. Might come looking, might come not, might not come looking. Can't really say. Okay. So we detected some magic on you. Uh, yeah, I got this thing. You've got a thing? You want to tell us a little bit about the thing? Yeah, I've always been able to do it. Uh, I can heal people by touching them. It, it doesn't work all the time. But uh, it's pretty good. Okay. Does it work on animals or just people? Or what what are the limitations you've observed? You know, I haven't ever tried it on animals, but uh, it seems to work on all different kinds of people anyway. I mean, you know, there's a lot of different kinds of DBs and and things in in Dwemer. So, you know, elves, orcs, that kind of thing seems to work on all of them. Does any buddy have a wound or anything to heal so that we can check this out? Probably not, right? Yeah, like we're in decent rest, shape. Surely. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. But uh, you know, mainly my specialty is I'll just say, you know, getting into places that people didn't intend for me to get into. And she fl- she kind of flexes her fingers on one hand, and you see all of these lock picks emerge from her fingers and then retract back in. Emerge from her fingers. Criminal. <laughs> You know, not all of us get to have a fancy set of armor and magic laser sword. Yes, some God, of us have magical doing? healing powers, which is a useful skill. <laughs> I didn't ask for the healing powers. They, they've all, I've had them since I was a little girl. Do we, like, who has magical powers just as a birthright kind of thing around here? Anybody? Who has magical powers? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean you've got the- a wizard <laughs> and a techno <laughs> wizard with yeah. you. I mean, I probably, I probably do. Yeah. So she so she's like potentially got some potential. It's not a spell casting thing. I've not, I know plenty of wizards and Dwemer. It's not a spell casting thing. It seems to be an inherent ability built into me somehow. Not sure. Okay. Are we considering this odd at all? It's a little unusual, but you know, it's Rift's Earth. Weird stuff happens. Crazy. Okay. Pretty all crazy. Right. The odder thing is probably that she's resonating like the ship and like Hamilton. Yeah. Okay. Now that she's out of the have we already moved away from the tower? If you wanted to check the tower for resonance before you left, you certainly could do that. Yeah. Just it to does. see now that she's out of the tower, is the tower still resonating? Yes. It's that whole space. Okay. Round around the tower too? So the following day, you arrive at the ship, and it's still where it was, but there are, are several more large holes in it. Apparently, uh, someone has been by and used it for a bit of target practice. Ah, okay. On the plus side, it's no longer smoking. <laughs> Great. Cool, says Zell. Did you guys come on that thing? Oh, no, we did not. <laughs> do you know oh, what it is? Looks like a, the biggest damn sky boat I've ever seen. You've never seen one of these before. Not like that. I mean, I've seen sky boats. I mean, who hasn't seen a sky right, boat? Come right. on. But not, not nothing that big or that shiny. He kind of elbows uh, Leviticus's armor. Kind of like you there, big shiny. <laughs> shiny. In, in the sense you've never seen anything as big and shiny as me? Well, I mean, obviously that thing's bigger and shinier. Well, maybe not shinier, but certainly bigger. But yeah, I've never, I've never actually met a glitter boy, but I've heard all the stories. Well... Half of them are true and the other half are exaggerated. How about if we go examine the ship? I'm very uncomfortable yeah, with this conversation. <laughs> okay. As well, you should be. <laughs> All right. So you, you go to examine the ship. What are you looking for? Is the ship still resonating with the, the, with the music or the magical um, vibration? Yes. Is it the same as her? That is an interesting question. I would like occult roles. I cannot do that. Anybody who's got it. I take it I'm not going in there, right? Uh, You can't go into the ship, but you can certainly walk around outside it. And nobody said they've gone into the ship yet. You're just examining it from the outside so far. I don't have a cult. That's okay. Click. No. Slaps his goggles on, takes a very careful look. And it's similar energy, but it is not identical. So if we're operating under the theory that these objects and and people and um, sort of techno creations are coming from some 
I don't know, parallel dimension or parallel Earth, then they might be coming from different parallel Earths. That is certainly possible. That would, would be interesting for her because she said she's from someplace that we've heard of here. Yes. You, you also get a certain sense from her resonances. And it's kind of hard to describe. You're looking at these oscillating waves of magical energy at a very minute level. And it seems as though hers are somewhat more sophisticated than the ones on the ship. Sophisticated. Vague. Complicated, more... So Click pretty much walks right up to her with the goggles, you know, up and down her arms, over her back, around her hair. All in the name of science, my dear. All in the name of science. Well, <laughs> saying things like, fascinating. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Occasionally staring over at the ship and then looking back. So uh, what's what What do you got there, Spex? Spex. Well... She's growing on me. You guys are... <laughs> Hey, well, cat killer. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. I just laughed. I didn't kill your cat. I just stunned your cat. Okay. This is why we can't have nice things. No, that's why she can't have nice things. You're fine. You're the one who sent the cat up there. Let's be fair. I thought your cat was a bomb. Okay. Boss, I'm getting some really interesting <laughs> resonation. She's similar to the ship, but she's not identical to the ship. And she's smaller. It, it looks like whatever's on her is, is more complicated. Utilitarian. I guess. That's vague and undescriptive. I wonder if we go into the ship and see if there's anything that on the ship that has a different we can scavenge? Yeah, let's yeah. scavenge. All right. Luke kicked on the door. Luke for are, you, are you guys heading in there? They're going into the ship. All right, I'll, uh, I'll stay out here. I crack open another beer and turn my music on. I'll just let us know if anybody's coming. What? It is possible. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, what? <laughs> Sorry, what's possible? It is possible that you can get the Glitter Boy in through some of these larger holes, but it's going to be real cramped on the inside. You want to go inside? If I could go in in my armor, yes. If I have to get out of my armor to do it, then I do not want to go. And I think you should look for a way to get in if you're interested. Otherwise, I think you should stay outside. I will do that. Um, and I will stay firmly in that my comfort like zone. And I acknowledge, that, I acknowledge that, that's a, that that's a limitation and I'm working on it. But let me work on it in my own way. I look for a hole that I can climb through. OK, uh, there are definitely holes that you can climb through. Really? So yeah. they've blown, okay. they blown some big holes in the side of the ship. Somebody has. All right. So you guys go in. You're you're exploring and the whole ship. The resonances are all consistent. They're all the same as you saw from the outside. Every single item inside it. Mm. So you have a mystery. All right. Yeah. So what do you do now? Where are you headed next? Would be able to shed light on our mystery. Is there anything of value on the <laughs> ship? Well, there's a lot of very smart people at Castle Refuge. Such shallow concerns. Well, well, let, let's take yeah, some right. material from the ship because it has a different resonance than her, just so that we can have this as a point of comparison when we go meet some of these bright people. Okay. I like All this right. idea. So you're going to head back to Castle Refuge. You know, some piece of technology... I think would be interesting. Well, you guys have some of the flintlock laser pistols and vibro cutlasses, so you have that technology. Okay. Yeah, let's keep that as long as we don't have to surrender those when we go where we're going. Plus, yeah. hopefully, right. there's three sky boats and some pirates there as well that oh, you sent yes. back. They may not want to talk. If we lost them, that would be bad. So you guys are going to head back to Castle Refuge, and that is where we, we will pick up at Castle Refuge next week. The Rift setting, the Megaverse, and associated characters and locations are the property of Palladium Books. Savage Worlds is the property of Pinnacle Entertainment. All other content is the property of Happy Monster Press. Find us at www.happymonsterpress.com or as Happy Monster Press on Twitter, Facebook, MeWe, and Pashpost. The music, Jason Shaw's Ice Cold. Oh, shout. <laughs>